we love nothing more than a good deep sea mystery, especially when there's a very large creature involved. And this next video is so mind bending, it would have Jules Verne himself saying, come on, monsieur. 2017, the Mediterranean Sea. A team working a debris sweep along ocean pipelines comes across what at first looks like just another deep sea carcass to be cleared away. But closer inspection reveals this is truly something unusual. What appears to be a 90 foot long dusty spine sits undisturbed on the bottom of the ocean. A remote controlled crane reaches out to investigate the skeleton, turning over one of the vertebrae, which disintegrates. British podcaster and investigator Debbie Hatswell was one of the first people to see this intriguing film after a member of the pipeline maintenance team reached out to her. She said they've seen a lot of carcasses on the sea floor and I've seen whale carcasses and all fish and all that and it just doesn't fit, it doesn't fit with what they are. He's saying this is an anomaly and he's felt that it was a very, very old animal of some kind. So I reached out to a number of marine biologists and nobody really got back to me with it as to what it was. Field researcher Ken Gerhardt explores the idea that perhaps these are the remains of a long extinct ocean predator, the dreaded megalodon. In 2022, the Atlantic Shark Institute out of Rhode Island was deploying sonar when they encountered what they believed to be a shark of unbelievable proportions, perhaps 50 to 60 to feet in length. Now, if so, this would be the best account of a modern megalodon. The megalodon, a nautical nightmare that experts believe could weigh as much as 50 tons, has been thought extinct for nearly 3 million years. Have these Rhode Island researchers uncovered a modern day version of this historical monster? And if so, could we be looking at the remnants of one in this video? This would certainly fit within the paradigm of what we know about megalodon. Sea dragons can be found in all sorts of ancient texts and tales dating back thousands of years. From Norse mythology's Midgard serpent to the ancient Babylonian saltwater dragon Tiamat. Is there a connection here? Let's see if our experts can help slay this oceanic mystery. Marine biologist Dr. Shea Steingast strongly doubts these are the remains of a sea dragon of ancient myth. It's been hypothesized that this might be a sea dragon. That's probably not the case because we really don't have any scientific evidence of these creatures existing. Steingast also points to the fact that we can see what appears to be a pelvis, something not found in the numerous depictions of these serpent-like creatures. What we're actually seeing here is a very old skeleton of some kind of modern animal. But the only documented modern marine animal that could possibly grow to this length would be a whale. Could that be what this is? I would say the chances that this is a really large whale skeleton are really slim because we would likely see other types of large bones like a skull if we were to see a spinal column. These remains aren't like anything I've really seen before. With Dr. Steingas at a loss, we checked with wildlife biologist Stephanie Manka to see if this could be a modern megalodon like the one thought to be discovered near Rhode Island. If it were a megalodon, I wouldn't expect to see the bone as intact as this. Megalodons, like other sharks, Instead of bone skeletons, they have cartilage skeletons, which don't fossilize well. Bone contains minerals, whereas cartilage doesn't. Bones are much harder. And if you think about your ear, this part where it bends is the cartilage. And that's what shark skeletons are made of. When cartilage breaks down, it turns into a jelly-like substance that dissolves into the water, which is why the only proof we have for megalodons are their teeth. And as for that alleged megalodon spotted by the Atlantic Shark Institute of Rhode Island, further research indicates this sonar image is more likely a large school of Atlantic mackerel. So with all of our theories ruled out, what is Manka's best guess? I believe that this is a whale. What is probably going on here is the whale skeleton has been on the ocean floor for so long that organisms have eaten away at the bone. And there are fin whales in the Mediterranean, which are the second largest whale species. They usually don't get up to 30 meters. So there is a little size discrepancy, but everything else seems to elude that it is a whale. 
Our verdict? Unknown sea beast. Stephanie Manka thinks it could be an abnormally large whale, but our marine biologist, Dr. Steingas, says no way. Until there is further investigation of the skeleton itself beyond this video evidence, these bones will remain a mystery.